Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at this unit right here. This is a relay module that I built that is fully self-contained with its own onboard power, ESP, and relay module. So this is a really awesome thing. I built this a couple weeks ago, and I know I've done a couple videos on relay control in the past, but I think this is the first tutorial I'm going to do that will be a fully self-contained unit. It will have its own onboard low power supply as well as the AC connection and it's all sort of self-contained. So before I get into all of the parts that you're going to need, I just kind of want to go over the different sort of sections on this board. So up here I have the ESP8266 and the small components that will go along with it. So that's the button here and some resistors and just basically all the little bits of support hardware that go along with the ESP. Then over here on the left, I have basically, this is my power strip here. So I have AC coming in to this, underneath this chunk of black tape here is this module here and this is an AC to DC converter. And so this will drop the voltage down to 5 volts, which is what the relay module needs. But then we also need to drop the voltage down to 3.3 volts for the ESP8266. So that's where this board comes into play. So this board here is a small DC to DC converter, and I have it set to 3.3 volts. And that basically supplies power for everything on the ESP. Then I also have this other chunk over here on the right hand side covered in black electrical tape. This is the relay module. This is just one of these just wrapped up in electrical tape. And this is what actually does the switching for our power line here. So this is going to switch the hot wire on our little power line here. So that's sort of the, the basic layout. Now let's take a look at the actual parts that you're going to need in detail. So I've already talked about the AC to DC power supply here. So this just takes the AC from the wall and converts it down to 5 volts, which is what our relay module here uses to power its DC side. The other little piece of power supply equipment that we have is this little DC to DC step down converter. So these are really cheap on eBay, a dollar or so. And what this does is just takes the 5 volts that's coming in here and drops it down to 3.3 volts that the ESP8266 can use. So the ESP is going to be the brains for this whole project and it will be what actually does all the controlling. So then... We also have a few, a couple of 1,000 ohm, or not ohm, 1,000 microfarad capacitors. And that just makes sure that the electrical signal coming in and out of this little module is nice and smooth. So the relay here, each time it opens or closes, there's actually a decent spike of electrical energy or a dip. And those spikes and dips get absorbed by these capacitors. Without these, basically the ESP can really easily automatically reset any time you trigger the capacitor just because of the, the spike in voltage. So then we also have a button and we have a couple of resistors. We have one resistor that will connect from the ESP to the relay and then another resistor that will be a pull-up resistor for our button here. So, and this will be our little tactile button. It's just a regular little button. And that will just be our input for our ESP that manually controls the relay here. So then we also have a couple of other parts over here. I have a three pin JST connector and this will just be my little wire connector for my relay. I have a circuit board to attach everything to. I have some male and female headers. You won't need this much, but you probably will need at least eight or so pins because that's what the ESP has. You may need a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on how you want to build it. And then you'll need some sort of wall plug and wall socket. 
So I'm just using a cheap, I think $2 at Walmart uh, extension cable here. But you can also go down to your local hardware store and get a real uh, electrical box if you want to put all of this in there. So the only other thing that I have is I have a whole bunch of extra wires for hooking everything up. And I have some larger, uh, higher gauge wires for my AC power lines. So with that, I think it's time to get started. And the place that I always start is at my power supply. So I'm going to get my AC to DC converter wired up, as well as my DC to DC converter to drop from 5 volts to 3.3. And I'm going to get those mounted onto my circuit board. While I'm wiring these guys up, I'm also going to cut my extension cable in half and wire up my hot and neutral lines to my AC to DC converter and also break out a couple of wires to go to the relay on the hot side of the cable. That way I just have all of my AC electronics all set up and I can move on to DC stuff. All right, so there we go. I have the AC to DC adapter all wired up and soldered onto the board. And I have the relay board here connected to the hot side of my cable. And that is also now attached to the board, not electrically, just via electrical tape. So later on, we'll be connecting the three pins on the relay to power it and control it. But for now, there is what we have. The next step that I want to take is I want to solder on and set the output voltage of my DC to DC regulator. So this is also going to require my two, if I can find the other one, my two 1000 microfarad capacitors. So like I said, these capacitors here are basically to filter out the noise that is generated when you click the relay on and off. So they'll keep our power nice and clean so that our ESP module does not auto restart or potentially even fry itself.
All right, so as you can see, I have now gotten this fully set to the right voltage and connected. So now I can unplug it. And temporarily, some of you guys may notice, I put on a little resistor here. And the point of this little resistor that I'm cutting off now was basically to be a dummy load for this little regulator here. So I've had issues in the past where if you don't have a load on this, these regulators, you won't be able to de detect the correct voltage. It'll kind of vary all around and you, it just won't set the right output voltage or you won't be able to read it correctly. So I put a little dummy load on there. It's just a 1K resistor, but it works well enough. So the next thing that I want to do on this here is I want to attach the ESP and all of the power for the ESP8266. So this is going to involve uh, wiring in uh, power 3.3 volts and ground to the ESP. It's also going to be putting this little ceramic capacitor, this is a 100 nanofarad capacitor, uh, as close to the power lines on the ESP as I can. I am also going to tie the 3.3 uh, and reset pins, uh, sorry, the 3.3 and the CHPD pins together. That way it, I don't have to worry about doing that later on. So we're almost, we're actually getting pretty close to the last steps, which are connecting the ESP to the relay and to the button. So we're pretty close to that now. Uh, but we're going to start with the ESP and then move on to the relay and button. All right, so here you can see we now have the ESP running. You can see it's a little red light there. So that means that everything here is all wired up perfectly. So now we're really just down to the last step. We have AC to DC, DC to DC, and now we have the ESP running. We just need to wire up the relay and the connectors for the button. So I'm going to start out with the relay and I have my three pin JST wire here. So I'm just going to pop this on like that and wire up these connections red and black to my five volts. That's not the 3.3 here. That's the five that's coming out of the AC to DC and the yellow wire here. I'm going to wire to pin three on the ESP, which is also the RX pin. So that will be our output to our relay. All right, so there we go. Now the relay is connected 
And if I plug in the board, you can see that the relay has power, the red light there. And now all that's left to do is to wire up our little tactile button. So this button here is going to connect from ground to pin zero. And there's going to be a pull-up 1K resistor connecting pin zero to 3.3 volts. That way, whenever we press the button, it will actually trigger the pin to be pulled low. And that's how we'll detect when we press our button. Now, I'm not actually going to wire the button directly up. I'm actually going to use some female headers. That way, if I want, I can actually wire this button not directly on the board, but I could wire it to some other control, you know, something on the external of whatever case this might go in in the future. All right, so here we go. Now we have our completed relay module. And the last thing to do is to test it out. So I've popped in a little button here. I have my ESP8266 with code running on it. If you wanna see what the code for this is, go check out the video that's on screen now. And you can also check out the code. It's in the description of this video. So let's test it out. I'm going to plug it in. And we have red lights all around giving us power. And my relay just turned on. And you can see the little blue light here is blinking on my ESP, telling me that it's fully connected to my Wi-Fi network and to my MQTT broker. And if I push this button here, oh, look at that. The relay is turning on and off. So I know this isn't all that exciting, just looking at it running here. But the possibilities of what this lets you do are, like, really, really cool. I have set up all throughout my house a bunch of these with relays on them. And they control basically all the lights in my house. And I'm sure that you guys can think of lots of other things that can be controlled through a simple little Wi-Fi relay like this. So definitely let me know in the comments what you guys think would be cool a cool project to do with this. And if you like this video, definitely go and check out some of my other videos on the channel. They're really interesting. I try to make them accessible to basically everybody. And if you like this kind of stuff in general, you should totally just subscribe to the channel and get updates whenever I upload a new video. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.